Time now for sports with Scott Green. Welcome back, everybody. Montana State has a new offensive coordinator tonight, and the last straw appeared to be Saturday's ineffective outing at Weber State. Former Helena Capital and Boise State star Matt Miller this morning was named Montana State's offensive coordinator and primary play caller for a struggling and conservative offense. These kinds of decisions are always difficult, but uh, I just felt like there was a lack of progress on the offensive side of the ball, regardless of our circumstances there. And I feel like what's best for our program and what's best for our players right now is for there to be a new voice in that room. That's really what it came down to. Miller also takes over duties as quarterback's coach with the departure of Bob Cole, who'd held that role since last spring. He was also the team's pass coordinator. It was unclear whether Cole was released or chose to leave upon the announcement. Yeah, good guy. Not, it's not a personal thing about Bob. I just think, you know, we kind of reached that point where, you know, saying the same things and getting the same result wasn't going to breed confidence in our offense. Choate indicated former Rocky head coach Brian Armstrong, upon being removed as offensive coordinator, will stay on board with the tight ends and help with the run game. Here's why Miller was chosen. Matt is a, a young guy who brings a lot of energy. He's played at a high level, very competitive, very organized, very detailed, understands, I think, uh, what we need to do to have success, and I think the players will respond to him. Uh, I feel like at this point in time, for our guys to have a sense of hope and to have a sense of excitement about what we're doing on that side of the ball, it was time for us to make a change. The move should bring energy to both sides of the ball, with MSU's defense hoping for more scoring and clock eating. After Saturday's 34-24 loss at Weber State, the Bobcat offense ranks 12th out of 13 Big Sky Conference teams. The only team worse in total offense? Weber. In Saturday's game, MSU held a 24-17 third quarter lead, but the offensive play calling was extremely predictable and didn't contribute to another point. It's an offense where Bobcats sophomore quarterback Troy Anderson is often the team's only option and leading rusher. He did it again with 102 yards, but 71 of those were on a long touchdown run. Outside that, MSU only accounted for 97 yards running and 53 passing with no touchdowns through the air. After Saturday's loss, this was Choate's answer when I asked what's next. Circle the wagons. That's what I told him. That's what you sign up for, man. You put that helmet on and, you know, we'll go compete again next week. Of course, Jeff Choate has great respect for all the members of his coaching staff, but a big credit to him for making a midseason change. A lot of guys would have just held off and suffered through year end. This isn't a magic wand by any means, but playoffs are likely out of the question for MSU. So the focus now is for some more offensive imagination, creativity, and specifically for Jeff Choate, improve his record against the Grizz to 3-0.